Sharky Breath. He plays video games. Hi. Welcome back to Nier Automata. Sorry about the awkward beginning. So I've spent the past oh, about two hours doing some more work on the machine life form Coliseum, the one in the forest. Um, and this is the conclusion I've come to. There is a certain amount of skill that you can achieve in operating machine life form and uh, countering other machine life forms. You can learn what you're supposed to do, when, and that sort of thing. There's a certain degree to which you can do that, but there's a certain degree to which this fight is random. That is to say, well, the best example of it is the one that I'm really dealing with right now, and that is that, okay, so the, what is it, the fourth wave? Is the fourth wave the tank? Right, so after you finish the tank, that wave comes out that is two... Um, machine life forms with guns, rapid fire uh, arm guns, one with a axe and one with the spiked shield. In that round, the two gun guys, if either one of them, when you're next to them, decides to do their thing where they just point their gun at you and shoot a whole bunch of bullets rapid fire, you're dead. Like, there's not a way for a short stubby to respond quick enough to that particular threat. There's no way to survive. So, the only way to beat that wave is to, when you finish the tank, immediately move to where one of the gun guys is about to fall, kill him as soon as he lands, and again, there's a random chance that when you're attacking him with your saw, it he might just dodge out of it, in which case you, you lose, you lose. Uh, you need to kill him just as he lands, and then do your evade dash across the room to where the other guy is, and try and kill him too. If you're lucky, what he'll do is he'll stand and shoot his gun into the air, scattering bullets randomly across the arena, not much of a threat. If he does that, then you can kill him. And you need to do that without the axe guy killing you, and without the shield guy killing you. Well, why am I starting right here? Because I had one of those lucky rounds where I landed underneath the gun guy, killed him, zipped over to the other one, killed him, killed the axe guy, all that's left is the shield guy. This is the best chance I've ever had to see the next round, and I thought I'd take you with me. So, let's see what we got. Okay, you. Okay, you. All right. All right. All right. So I've dealt with these shield guys a lot at this point best thing to do is just get in there. Yeah, yeah, just, just try and, just try and nudge the, there, okay, there we go. You may know it, I'm a little close to death, but that's kind of just how things go in this particular arena. Yeah, when they're strafing is the best time to knock their shields off. That I've noticed. Okay, 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 there we go, there we go. One more hit should take his shield down, there it goes, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, give me an attack. That's not an attack, that's just a random charge, what the heck. I'm a little nervous because this is the first one with a shield, a sword rather, that I've dealt with in this arena, and I don't know his attacks as well. He's very dodgy. He's annoyingly dodgy. Come on, come on, come on. There you go, there you go, there you go. What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? Hello? Oh, it's Masamune! That's a big shockwave! I got lit on fire! I died. With his blacksmithing hammer. Wow. Well, that's neat. How am I supposed to do anything about that? I guess I need to have enough health to back dodge through the shock waves, get next to him, and then see if I can saw him apart. But I bet he has some close range attacks too, yeah? <laughs> Plus, it looked like he lit on fire frequently. Huh. Well, that was an anticlimax. Sorry for all the build up for nothing. Let's see if I can get there again, I guess. See you in a while, maybe. Hey, guess what? We're back. Probably one of these times I should actually record the uh, process of getting here for you, huh? Maybe. I don't know. Here we go. Sideways, so we don't take extra damage like this. Good, good. There go the spikes. Okay, you. All right, all right, all right, all right. Come on. Nope. Okay. Now we take. 
carry your shield off. Ideally, didn't get there, didn't get there. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Are you gonna do anything or what? Come on. Okay. Yeah, more like it. Nope. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. You do a lot of damage up close and personal, don't you? That's unfortunate. I'm gonna die with the first shockwave I find. Well, let's just try and kill him when he gets here. There he is, 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 oh! I can't believe it. There is no compassion or sympathy in combat. That feels a little bit unfair, doesn't it? Huh. The time you took to complete this battle is 308338. Three minutes. Well, I guess it is pretty quick. It's, you're either dead or you win. It's one or the other. Oh, boy. Okay, okay. Keep training every day. I'm sure you can do even better. Well done. Please accept this mask as your reward. This mask will help you out a bit when controlling machines. Really? That's all it does, really. Come back anytime. Masamune mask. Okay. Helps out a bit when controlling machines, it says. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Increases the level of hacked enemies by 30! 30! Whoa! It looks... A combination of silly and creepy on 9S, actually. Alright, 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 alright. Just because I feel real weird about skipping to the end and then winning immediately, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just... Yeah, 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 yeah. Normal difficulty. War knows no end. Keep working hard to obtain better results. You are in. Yeah, well, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna, just gonna, I'm gonna go back into the special rank and I'm gonna show you basically what I've figured out. And we're gonna see how it goes. I'm probably gonna die ignominiously. But, why, why, what, I do, what am I doing? What am I doing? Gotta go get my, uh, gotta go get my short stubby. Hello. Small stubby? Small stubby. He's a small stubby. He's not a short stubby. He's a small stubby. All right, stubby, come on. Saw. Okay. So let's 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 just uh, let's just see how this goes, huh? You want to take down the spear guy first because he has way more mobility. Also, because those spikes are a pain. Sometimes they overlap in an annoying fashion. All you got to do is wait until that one's about to attack. Come on, come on, just do it. Come on, come on. There. Now, just tear him up. 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 Okay. That that attack right there. If you dodge once, it doesn't hurt you at all. Which is really weird. The second hit doesn't even connect. Okay, so spike shields. Spike shields are interesting. They're they're easiest to take off when they're strafing. Whoop. They also do a ton of damage. The thing the thing about okay okay the thing about spike shield guys. Okay okay that's bad. If you get a spike shield guy directly behind you with your back turned, he can stun lock you into oblivion, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it as a small stubby one saw. So that's something to keep an eye on. They also, you may have noticed, alternate between doing a punch attack and doing a shield slam attack. The shield slam hurts a lot less when they have no spikes, but it still does hurt. There we go, there we go. Not my most impressive work so far. I'm already uh, at half health, which means I'm probably pretty much dead. Okay, so once that wave is down, you want to get right over here and try and take out one of these guys. These guys have a lot of potential to, again, stun lock you into oblivion. If you if you get hit once, their, their attacks tend to be synchronized in such a fashion that they'll just take turns smacking you until you die. And there's not much you can do about it. I'm trying to position this guy so that when he... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I didn't quite get it. I wanted to kill the dinosaur with the leftover spin from when I killed that guy. It didn't quite work out, but that's okay. All right, this guy, this guy is just a pain and there's not much to be done about that. You, you can only kill him with your overhand punch. Nothing else really seems to work. So really you want to just get, keep dodging, keep dodging and hope to wind up close behind him when he's between attacks. That's your only chance to get an attack in. If he does the one where he does like a, like a, a slidey charge on you, where he's waving his mandible pincer things at you all the whole time, there's nothing you can do to avoid that as a small stubby. There's absolutely nothing to get out of the way. So all you can really do is soak the hit and then give back as you took. That's really all you can do. There! Okay. Okay. So there we go. That was a good hit. Now we just gotta do it again. Okay. 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 There. Get yeah, Perfect. 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 Dead! Okay. Okay. Now we want to go to the light side of the tank. Specifically this side of the tank. 
And we have that toggle when it gets here. Okay, now we gotta get over here to where this shadow is. That one right there. He's gonna drop right about here. So, I'm gonna try and kill... Oh, okay, he dodged, he dodged. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm probably dead, I'm probably dead. Yep, 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 I'm probably dead. Okay, okay. This is, this is the random chance thing I was talking about. If that guy dodges out of your saw when he lands, you're dead. And that's an end on it. Yeah, well, you get the idea. You get the idea. Basically, the only... The, all there is to this particular... This particular... <laughs> Coliseum. Wait a second. Uh, hang on. Well, anyway, all there is to it is... Well, finding a machine that you like. I recommend the short... The small stubby with a saw, by the way. It's worked out way better than anything else I could have hoped for. Really, all you can do is get used to their moveset... Get real good at the first waves, and then hope that that one with the two gun guys doesn't screw you. If it screws you, you're dead. You have to just try again. <laughs> That's all there is to it. And then, apparently, the secret to Masamune is start where he landed, and then just kill him with a saw, and you win. Ideally. <laughs> okay. Okay. So why am I still recording, you may ask? Reason is, I got this mask, right? It levels up my mind controls by, let's see here, by 30 levels. But the thing is, I'm level 99. 99 is the max level as far as I know. Doesn't that mean this mask is entirely purposeless? I'm gonna take over a guy and see, oh, wait a second. Right, of course, right, of course. Given that I'm fighting guys that aren't level 99, it's just going to make them extremely powerful. Yeah, he's level 86. You're kidding me. There are small stubbies with with saws here? I could have just stepped outside and possessed one? You probably don't understand my outrage, but I searched for a small stubby with a, with a saw for a very long time. Time, which is why I showed you where they were last episode. But there's one right outside the costume. Yeah, well, cool. Now I'm a level 86 small stubby, so that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Let's just kill these guys because I feel like it. Let's just let's just let's just murder some guys because I feel like it. Great, great. Okay, cool. Well. <laughs> That's pretty neat, I guess. So, it occurred to me, between episodes, that my plan here is to do the last two fights in the game and then delete my save file, which is why I am here, <laughs> which is why I kept working on this one, because it seems to me if I'm ever going to beat these Colosseums, this is my only chance to do it. I'm not going to replay this game, not because I didn't enjoy it, but because I don't have time. I, I really don't. So I will probably take another swing at the uh, at the other Colosseum, the, the, the you know, the, the one in the, 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 wow, I can't think words. The flooded, the flooded city area. The one that really, really, really sucks with the shadow tank and everything like that. I'll probably try it again. But. But. Right, anyway. This episode would be very, very short if I left it as it is. Plus, I mean, as happy I am that I managed to finish that Colosseum. By its random nature and by the massive damage you deal with the saw. It's not going to be particularly impressive to watch. You know, it's not going to be... There's not that much to see. So, so, I'm going to move right along. We're going to go deal with Emil. Which means I need to go switch uh, characters and a whole bunch of stuff. So, uh, so bear with me for a minute. I'm going to go deal with... Why are there all these corpses here? Where am I? What's going on? What the... Hey! Whoa! This is different. Hang on, hang on. Where am I? Where am I? No, not that. Where am I? Where... Hey. <laughs> There's a lot of bullets. <laughs> There's a lot of bullets. Oh, uh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so this is just this is just like a little ambush that they built up. Oh, yeah, that's, that's fun. Good for you, dinosaurs. Good for you. I'm leaving. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in a minute. We're dealing with the meal. Hold that thought for just a second. I uh, was preparing myself 
like I haven't used 2B in a long time, so I figured I'd set up a chipset for her and accessories and whatnot. And I just noticed that this mask that I got for doing the, uh, you know, the Desert Coliseum says I'll be hailed as king if I wear it. I'm gonna see if the machine life forms around here still attack me if I'm wearing this thing. Do you not? They absolutely do. <laughs> well, what's the point then, huh? Hey, hey, what's the deal? Why are you attacking me? I'm the king. Okay, well, I guess it's not like that. It's not like that. I wish it was, but it's not like that. About the level seven. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Materia where 2B is alive. Everybody's so weak. <laughs> I didn't really remember. Well, in any case, it doesn't do what I thought it did, and that's fine. Maybe it changes stuff when you're in the Coliseum. Mm, curious. I'll go check. I'll go check. Hang on, okay? Just hang on. Hi. Your Majesty, everyone is waiting for you up ahead. Well, you know, he said that anyway, even if I wasn't wearing the mask. I couldn't think on it. They all just said that anyway. And I'll still go in and check. Right, okay. Hello. What do you have to say for yourself? Ah, uh, I can't believe someone beat me to it. Well, fair's fair. You're the king now. Cool. But if I take the mask off, does that still say? Do you still say that? I'm thinking you probably don't. I mean, otherwise, what's the point, right? It's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. You have become our king. We welcome your return as per rule 30,284. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> it wasn't even me that did it. There's A2. Can't even tell the difference. Y'all are hopeless. All right, whatever. That's, that was a fun detour. Turns out the mask doesn't make any difference. So that's fine. See you over at Emil's place. Oh, it doesn't count me as having been here before. Okay. Well, that's fine. Full speed ahead. It's not like they can stop me. Just remembering back when I was appropriately leveled for this place and tried really, really hard to make it through this zone in order to see what was beyond it. Honestly, I'm glad I did, because this was an, an interesting challenge at the time, whereas it is now trivial. <laughs> all the stranger that the boss in here requires me to be as strong as I am now. Well, probably doesn't require it, but it's gonna be a lot simpler, that's for sure. Hello. tell me where his house is so I can't get into his house proposal use pot fire to force him to stop oh I shall hi Emil Great. That should do it. Can't believe I forgot that step. Okay, see you back underground. And the door is open. And look at all the corpses. It's almost like there's a really hard boss fight in this room or something. Cool, cool, cool. Hypothesis. This is the residence of the inscrutable life form known as Emil. No doubt. Now, which one is this going to be? Is this going to be the mask or is this going to be the head? Alert. Theft of physical objects may disturb the resident. I think that message only got given to me when it caused Emil to attack. 
Not positive. So, quick before I do this, let's discuss my preparations. I left the weapons as uh, as they were, but I set up a new plug plugin set. Let's see what I got. Weapon attack and range attack up plus seven. Range defense plus six because that guy spits five billion bullets. That's all I really know about him. Anti chain damage seems extremely important for that same reason. Offensive heal because, you know, there's not going to be another way to heal. Uh, damage absorb because I had 14 slots late left over and I didn't know what to do with them. And evasive system and uh, bullet detonation because, again, five billion bullets. So, I guess let's uh, give it a shot now that I'm 50 levels higher than last time. <laughs> Give it! Wait, it's his mask. It's his mask. I have to go back up and, 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 and... I have to go back up. <laughs> I have to go back up and come back down, I forgot. I have to do the entire thing. I have to prep up the entire boss battle again. Whatever, it's fine. I'll see you back down here in a minute after I tick my mail off. I probably ought to save too, as there are decent odds that I'm just gonna get my face blasted off. Mail. Report. Mail notification received from access point. Sure, what we got? No, operator 6 0. Save now, why not? Understood. I didn't say anything yet. The conversation between Operator 60 and Unit 2B has been analyzed. Have I seen this before? Hypothesis. Unit 2B wishes to send Operator 60 a gift from the surface so that she might be able to experience it in some fashion. That doesn't seem That's familiar. right. Proposal. The gift should be a photograph of a rare flower. You think? Analysis of historical data indicates that human females enjoyed viewing the reproductive organs <laughs> of flowering plants. If Unit 2B can procure appropriate image data, it could be uploaded to the bunker. Proposal. Unit 2B should obtain an image of the plant known as the Desert Rose. All right. Find a present accepted. There's a quest? There's a quest I didn't do? There's a quest I didn't do. Collecting the follow item in order to take the required photo. I sold all my desert roses because I didn't think I'd need them. Oh, no! Okay, well, hang on a second. Since I've never actually seen that email, apparently, I'm going to just go ahead and read it. Operator 60. Sender. 2B. Thanks for fixing the transfer di device the other day. I'd love to do the repairs myself, but operator models aren't allowed to go to Earth. There's so much I want to know about this planet, though. I'd love to hear some of your stories if you ever have time. Operator 60. And so to be decided to send Operator 60 a picture of a rose. Because she does care. She really does. All right, I guess I'm going to the desert to get one of those. Hang on. Well, here I was running all over the place looking for one of those random drop desert roses when it turns out there's just a quest location for this particular quest. So let's just go see what's over there. Presumably it's the flower I need. Yeah, presumably. You. It's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Oops, 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 hello. There's a bunch of machines about. Let's that real quick. That should, uh. Come on. There you go. Okay. This one? The one at the grave site? No. Uh, this one. Pod, take a photograph of the desert rose and send it to operator 60. Yeah, that. Affirmative. Image data transfer complete. Woo, that's easy. Cool, I did it. Oh, hey. 2B, this is operator 60. Pick up. Yeah, sure, to sure. Be here. Go ahead. Thank you so much for the picture. So this is a desert rose, huh? It seems almost mystical. There must just be a bounty of nature down there, huh? <laughs> that's so, yes. not, uh, I've seen really? lilies, cherry blossoms, daffodils, and even lunar tears. I guess that's true. I'll try to send more if I can. Oh, 2B, I'm going to treasure this forever. Oh, and 
take stuff until the bunker disappears. Proper thank you mail later, so keep an eye out for it. Bye. Nice. Reported find a present. Uh, I think it's ongoing. It is. Uh, you received a reward from Operator 60 and thanks for the picture of the desert rose. She seems more infatuated with Earth now than ever. If such a thing is possible, make sure to claim the reward she sent over by mail. Okay, sure. I can do that. Uh, this is another unique song playing as a result of having given 60 a flower. Well, that's nice. That's a nice little bit of flavor that I somehow missed the first time around. I guess because I was busy exploding the world. Far too busy to send flowers to my friend up in the bunker. I guess. Uh, let's see. Inbox. There it is. Whoa, it's a sword. <laughs> she sent me a sword. And a, and a module? It looks like a module as well. Oh, okay. To be. Thank you for that lovely image of a desert rose. There are so many mysterious things down on Earth, huh? I'd love to head down there myself someday. Oh, and it's nothing fancy, but I've set along a reward for you. Thanks again, Operator 6 well, All right, I got a sword. Great. Well, that's cool. I did it. Updated. No, complete. Yes, 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 good. Okay. Now, what the heck was I doing up here? All right, I have to go tell Emil that I raided his house. <laughs> ah, pardon the distraction, but you know, side quest all of a sudden. It's very important. Now then, let's get back to the city. Yeah, probably this one, yeah? Yeah, this one. I wonder how many more incidental side quests there are that I've just missed over the course of this. I may check into that when I'm in the process of trying to get to that last fight in the game. It's quite a process, by the way. It involves like getting all the weapons in the game and upgrading them fully or something like that, I think. So, uh, it may take a minute. In any case, let's go find Emil. Here he is. Bam. All right, Emil. How are you doing? Any robbers lately? Can I help you with anything? You cannot, but you can attack me. Assuming. Boy, the world's really going to hell in a handbasket, isn't it? So they say. I they had you. a bandit break into my place a little while ago. Shocking. After that. I put all my valuables in a secure container. Now I don't have to worry anymore. That's good. Wait a second. Secure container. Does that mean that Ninus have to hack it? Huh. Am I doomed to not be able to open up the chest again? Well, that'll be disappointing so. Alright, well, let's go check it out. Didn't save. Friggin' there. Let's go. Okay, good. I'll try and skip as much of that as possible, but uh, I forgot that I had to redo the entire process of unlocking the Emil fight in order to have the Emil fight. And we should be in business now. As long as I can get into this secured chest. Which I can't, because I'm not 9S. So you have to fight Emil as 9S? Because 9S won't hack unless you're controlling him directly? Oh, boy. Okay, at long last, here we are again. This time for real. Yes. Now there's the chest. Now I can open the chest. Whoops. <laughs> I was scratching my leg. It's hard to hack while scratching your leg, it turns out. Great! I got his head! Again! 
many, many days in the future. Now then, let's go see what we can do about this angry Emil. Hello, Emil. I know you show up sooner or later here. Where you at? Where you at? So oh. you were the bandit all along? There we are. Yeah, it's true. It was me. I am the bandit. You Hello. may be a cherished companion of mine, but you still must be punished. In, in other words, killed, right? Right. Okay, well, here we go. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see here. Yes, warning, Emil. You don't say. Level 99, okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, all right, all right. Wow, okay, so I'm seeming to do a great deal of damage to him. Should I hack him? Uh, it doesn't seem to do a great deal. But he seems all fried out, so maybe this is going to work out okay. Uh, what you doing? What you doing? What's uh, <laughs> lasers? Okay, cool. Whoa, oh, it's still coming. It's still coming. Nah, 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 nah. That ain't gonna do it. All right. It looked like he had a bell or something, but I guess it was some kind of a laser tube. Whoops, whoops, whoops. There we go. There we go. A little more. A little more. A little more. I got this. Yeah. 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 Let's just hack him. Let's just hack him. That's what I do, right? I'm the hack guy. I hack him. I hack the mans, and I shall hack this man, like I have hacked so many other mans. There we go, there we go, come on, there it is, and your core. Great, done. How you feeling? Pretty good, actually. Why don't I just, that actually didn't do that much damage. Why don't we just, uh... whoa, okay, that's quite a tactic you have there. Let's just put some bullets in him, I guess. What? The music has changed, the music is, oh, okay, ow, 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 ow. Okay, 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 yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. We are good. Wait, I, it's... I guess power is the only thing that counts in this world anymore, huh? Oh, now whom he'll destroyed. Well, go ahead and use this room for whatever you like. I don't mind. I'm sorry, Emil. Does your sign say Judgment Day now? It does. <laughs> I got your unit data, though. Oh, it was his megaphone that he was using for the laser. I guess that makes sense. I got Emil heads. It's a weapon. Can I talk to you? You don't look particularly destroyed to me. Warning. Warning. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, Judgment Day pain. <laughs> cool. Well, sorry about that, Emil. Sorry about that. Um. Does anything change in here? It seems that he's given up caring. Hmm. Well, may as well equip my spoils of my conquest. Just a second. Emil, Emil mask? No, Emil head. Emil's head. Emil's head. Yes. And weapons. Weapons. Uh, probably a combat bracer, right? Yep. Emil heads. Equip. There. Ah, that's good. That's good. Uh huh. And how does it how does it work? Oh, you just like shoot the heads. I was kind of hoping you would wear them on your fists and then punch people with the heads, but I guess that works too. I just had these giant floating heads stuck to my butt. Sure. Sure. Well, you're still here. No comment, huh? <laughs> okay. Well, I think I probably wasn't supposed to level to 99 before doing that one, but as I understand it, there's one more. And in order to get the one more, I have to not only get all weapons in the game, but upgrade all weapons in the game to max. So that's going to take a considerable amount of effort, I'm thinking. But in any case, I'll leave off this one here. Thank you for watching. Next time, hmm, next time what? I don't know if I'll go back to working on the Coliseum immediately, or if I'll just spend some time off screen grinding up, gathering and grinding up weapons. That's going to have to happen sooner or later. We'll do one last story time before we actually do the final whatever it is that happens. I also don't know how to trigger whatever it is that happens. But I presumably it involves this fella right here, I guess. That's what I hear, anyway. In any case, thank you again for watching. Next time, real, real endgame content, one way or another. I will see you then.